Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be trying out every single one of my Puma sneakers. I'm gonna review them as well for you and tell you guys the things I like about them and also some things to watch out for. First up, we have the Puma RSX th third. <laughs> I, I never really know how to say this. I don't know if it's the RSX3 or just the RSX. Here it is right here. I have it in the pink. The tongue just says RSX, so let's just go with that. But it is a really cool and unique shoe. I do, I'm never really drawn to pink shoes normally, but this one is really, really cool and fun and out there. It's like contrasted with some cream and black accents. It's um, a really nice shoe. I have this in a seven and a half, that is my size. So I would say that these are true to size. And I love this sneaker because it's definitely one of those ones where if you wanna have an elevated, more trendier outfit, I definitely have worn these in the past with that. I wouldn't necessarily say they're like your average running or walking shoe, but um, they're definitely more of like a statement slash trendy shoe for sure. And I've worn these with a lot of different stuff. Like I've worn them with dresses. I've worn them with, with jeans, with sweats, like if they're weirdly very versatile, if that makes sense. And it is because they are a little bit more, think of like a statement slash like trendier shoe. So anyway, these are really, really cool. I love the shape of them too. I really like the silhouette. True size, comfortable, and there's not much negative really to say about these. I normally don't like a cream lace. So that's the only thing to watch out for, I guess, is just the fact that like white would probably be the only thing that you couldn't really wear these with because it would flash with the cream. Yeah, otherwise these are a definite slam dunk, the RS. X. Okay, next up we have the Puma Women's Diva Boot. I did a full review just on this shoe, which I will link for you up here, but this is definitely one of my favorites. They are so cute. They kind of remind me a little bit of like the Lugs days, like, you know, back in the early 2000s. This is very that era, this silhouette, but they did manage to do a modern take on them, I think. They're just really, really perfect. I did say, um, I have a seven and a half of these as well. They do fit a tad small but like if you guys want to check out my full review I, I mentioned that like doing a full eight would have probably been too big so it's kind of weird but anyway these have a little bit of a platform but it's nice because you can't really tell it's a platform so it's not like um you're committing to like walking around all day in this crazy high shoe but it is it does give you some height um i absolutely love this like very clean sleek sort of band across this is velcro so it like undoes i just usually leave it alone because i don't want to like ruin the velcro and wear it out the laces are amazing they just like do up really easily everything about this shoe is enjoyable it's very dirty as you can see because i've worn them a lot the only thing is i guess okay so they do come up a little bit high so if you're going to be doing like a lot of walking in one day be aware that they might rub against your ankle bone and like maybe be a little bit uncomfortable otherwise they're super super cute and these can be worn with a lot of things also definitely sweatpants i haven't tried to dress with these but i would because like i mentioned they're a little bit more of like a platform they could be definitely very very cute with just like a plain casual dress. I like these. Next is the Puma RS Curve. This is what they look like. Please mind the dirt. Um, I've walked in these a lot. These are your like go-to walking shoe, in my opinion. They're an excellent walking shoe. They're just like your sort of straight up black sneaker. Um, they do have like a little bit of the curve detail there, which is cool. Um, I have these in a seven and a half and they do fit fairly true to size. The only thing I will say is for some reason only in the left shoe, as I've been walking just recently, only recently, the last like one or two walks I've been on, it's like kind of creased right here and it's dug into my foot bone. So, but it never did that before. So I don't know if I was like walking a different way or doing something weird in them, but it was hurting me a lot. So I had to change them, but that's the only thing that's the only time that that's really happened and otherwise these have been a slam dunk. Obviously you could wear these with an outfit as well, but they are more of the like athletic silhouette and like sort of less trendy. So these would definitely be something great also to keep in your car. Um, I know not a lot of us are really going out very many places right now, but back when I was going out all the time and I was wearing a lot of heels and stuff like that, I always kept a pair of shoes like this, just like plain black under the radar in my car for if I had to like change my shoes while I drove, if my feet just had enough and like I absolutely needed to put on a sneaker because I couldn't do my heels anymore. 
That's what's great about these shoes. Puma Suede Classics. Those are these bad boys right here. These are super, super new. I haven't even worn them out of the house yet. I've worn them around my house so I can talk about them. They are extremely comfortable. And you know what? It threw me off because when you first look at them, they don't look like they'll be comfortable at all. They're like a flat sole. Um, they don't look like they have any support whatsoever. They kind of remind me of like a Converse shoe, which is, although trendy, uh, not a great walking shoe. Definitely not a running shoe, that's for sure. But um, more trendy, these are the suede classics too. So just like black and white, you cannot go wrong. They kind of throw you off a little bit because I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't have really purchased these online just seeing them pictured like this. But uh, now that I've turned them on with some outfits, they actually do look really cute and they are a very cute, chill, sort of like trendy sneaker that can be worn with a lot of different items. They also come with white laces as well, which is really good. I've just kept the black in thus far because I think it kind of looks a little bit more sleek, but I wouldn't mind trying lacing these with the white laces. I have a seven and a half of these as well. Fits true to size for sure. And it's so weird. They have like, just like a cushy sort of comfort to them. I don't think I would do a long, long like walk for exercise in them. But if I was like running errands all day or something like that, I would definitely wear these. Okay, we've got the Puma Cali Suede, the Puma Cali Suede Wildcat Cheetah Sneaker. I think that's the proper official name for these, but I kind of found a couple of different names online. I just couldn't remember the official name. Yeah, these are super cute. Cute. They're a little bit more of obviously your trendy sneaker. They have a slight platform, which is awesome. This is a true white as well, and they mix it well. This isn't necessarily like a cream. It kind of maybe might look like that on camera. It's more of like a tan or a beige. But yeah, these are really, really cool as well to switch up your just sort of like regular sneaker game. I'm always in like plain white sneakers. These are very similar to the RSXs in terms of like when you're just kind of wanting to amp up your outfit, but you don't really want to like wear heels. This is such a great sneaker to incorporate into your outfit. They're busy, so I would definitely wear more of a simpler outfit, but they're cute and they're comfortable as well. The only thing I will say is that these do run a little small. I have a seven and a half, like I've been mentioning, that is my true size. These fit a little tight, so I would possibly size up if you guys are interested, but otherwise, super cute. I love the silhouette and like the look of the fact that it looks like it's a platform, but it's like not really. Black laces are a hit, the gold accents are great. Just like a very cute sneaker. Again, not an everyday sneaker, but definitely some, definitely one to pull out when you wanna um, level up your outfit. Okay, and lastly, we have these. I gotta get you guys the proper name of this sneaker. It was a first mile collab, so they're likely called like Puma first mile sneakers. These are so dirty and worn because they have really quickly become my go-to exercise sneaker. So walking, running, um, they're so comfortable. What's really cool about them too is that the laces are long and they actually can tie around your ankle. I don't ever wear them like that because I feel restricted, but it is cool if you wanted that option. These are an eight. I don't know why I have an eight in these. Probably because they're an athletic shoe, so you want a little bit of an extra room. They fit perfectly. Like maybe I could have fit into a seven and a half, but I think it's probably best to just size up in these anyway. The uh, colors don't match with everything, not gonna lie. Like I like I said, the cream, I if I were to choose white over cream, usually I like to go with a true white, and this is more of like a cream. So it's also extremely dirty. But with that being said, normally my workout clothes are like black anyway, so it's all good. And um, yeah, these are a very light but great support shoe. The, the back up here is really excellent as well. I found it's provided really, really good support for running and just like any type of workout. Like I haven't been in the gym because they've been closed. So I've just mostly been doing runs outside, but these are the definite shoes that I wear. I have some other trainers and like running shoes. And I find that just when I wear them for like a certain amount of time, they start to hurt me and these have not done that yet. So these have quickly become my favorite. That is reflected in how dirty and worn out they are. I also think that these are a um, recycled material. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure they are. I'm pretty sure First Mile is a company that uses like all recycled stuff. That's all of my Puma sneakers that I have. These were gifted to me, but this is not a paid review. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helps you if you guys are shopping for any Puma sneakers on your own. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see me trying out new things all the time. And please feel free to also follow me on Instagram for more.